moments at about a point in a clockwise direction or anticlockwise direction and a force has a clockwise or anticlockwise moment relative to a point therefore if we move the point we take moments about then the direction of the moment could change from clockwise to anticlockwise or vice versa i am going to explain what that means with this example if we take moments about this point a then this externally applied force of 15 kN would try to rotate this beam in clockwise direction about point A. Therefore, this externally applied force results in a clockwise moment when we take moments about point A. An easy way to visualize this is to imagine that the point we are taking moments about is the center point of a clock face. Then consider our beam to be a clock hand. Then looking at likely direction of rotation due to this externally applied force, we can then figure out whether this force would result in a clockwise moment or anti-clockwise moment about the point we are taking moments. This externally applied force would try to rotate this beam in this direction Back to the example, now let's move the point we take moments about to point C. If we take moments about point C, then this externally applied force of 15 kN would try to rotate this beam in an anti-clockwise direction about point C. Therefore, the same force would result in an anti-clockwise moment when we take moments about point C. Similar to what we did before, if we imagine point C is the center point of this clock phase and our beam is clock's hand, this externally applied force would try to rotate this beam in anti-clockwise direction. I believe now you understand why I mentioned that a force has a clockwise or anti-clockwise moment relative to a point. Let's look at another example. In this example, if we take moments about point A, then this externally applied force of 15 kN would try to rotate this cantilever beam in clockwise direction. Therefore, this externally applied force of 15 kN results in a clockwise moment when we take moments about point A. We can do the same thing we did before with our clock phase. This externally applied force of 15 kN would try to rotate this beam in clockwise direction when we are taking moments about point A. I believe now we are able to determine whether a force is causing a clockwise moment or anti-clockwise moment when you are taking moments about any point. If you have any questions about this video, please post your questions in the comment section. If you like the video, please like, share and subscribe to my channel. I will see you all in my next video.